part and I said na, you know what, I can I can do this. I was a swimmer back in high school. Back then, I was really out of shape. I think I weighed 200 pounds back then. Then I just, you know, started swimming and then um, my boss, I don't know if this is the right term, but Nate Boodol and signed me up for an aquathlon race. And then um, that's when it started. I, I joined aquathlon. You know, I tried riding a bike and then I enjoyed it. She lent me her husband's bike. So for my first triathlon race in, in 2016 also, it was a Tri United for I was using bike gear ng, ng husband niya. Every triathlete naman will start with a sprint and then after that would like to try yung longer distances. And then yun, fast forward to before the pandemic, 2019, I did my first 70.3 in Davao. And then months later, I signed up for my first full for, for IMWA. And, and then that's it. After the pandemic, I just signed up for, for Subic and then uh, World Championships came. And, you know, the usual, every triathlete story would like sign up for one race after the other because you want to beat your PR, right? And you want to do better and just challenge yourself. We're very lucky naman yung batch namin because um, season triathletes like um, the, the Ramos family um, Tito Jet and Tito Lu and Banch, they have experienced Utah already. So they they actually gave us tips about the the weather. Ganyan na you need to. You know, I mean, we everyone knows that you need to acclimatize. If iba yung weather conditions and alam mo yon, I'm not used to racing in yung cold weather. Na like that. I mean, lami yun ako. It's not my <laughs> it's not my favorite thing to race in cold weather. So when I was planning the trip with with my teammate from Cherry, you no know, si Jackie, we said na, oh, let's go early. Might as well be there like a week and a half um, early to, to train and, you know, I mean, let's get used to the cold weather because the swim is going to be cold. It's a wetsuit swim, di ba? And then, um, but what we didn't expect then, syempre na after the wetsuit swim, the it was so windy and the, the weather was really dropping and the forecast actually for race day was zero degrees. I mean, out of the, the water. There was a day na we tried putting a garbage bag under the tri suit. After removing the wetsuit, um, you know, you dry yourself, put a trash bag. So we bike. Parang hindi pa rin kaya. Sobrang lamig talaga. And then we got na um, gloves and arm sleeves. Hindi pa rin talaga kaya. Super lamig. So we, we, we you know, search for a, a sporting shop goods. And then we bought yung mga heat pads. Um, and then after that, the next day, parang it was colder because the weather nga kept on dropping. So we need to address naman yung concern na yung foot namin. Sobrang lamig talaga, it's so hard to run after. So similar, um, we did um, uh, put nga yung mga heat pads. And it was really great that a lot of the Filipino contingents were also there early because we are sharing learnings. It was really um, brutal. It was challenging. There was a day na there was like sort of hailstorm. Alam mo yun? So parang paano kami mag-de-race ng ganon? And then the the day before the race, um, actually sobrang windy that our bikes just really, yung drive terrain got covered with sand that we still need to to fix um, before uh, bike, bike check-in. Parang, I, I really just stopped at every aid station. I think someone even made a comment na when I crossed the finish line, na grabe alas ligong-ligo ka kasi nakita niya ako sa buong race course. Wala talaga akong aid station that I didn't stop. And alam mo yun, buhos, eyes, and, and everything. But I think it would have been better nga if, I, I mean, I had some training before, but wala, wala man tayong time to, to, to do that. <laughs>